Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we have a new look, a first look, a who knows when this is going to come to market, but it's probably going to be announced at Pacificon 2023, the Elecraft KH1 transceiver. Let's take a look at some of these features. It is 40 through 15 meter ham bands, 6 through 22 megahertz shortwave listening. That's awesome. CW mode, 5 watt all bands. ATU includes whip, so radio in your hand, ready to go. Think of this as like an HT, which is probably why it's the KH1. Think of the H as handheld, and you'll be in the right ballpark for this radio. I like the form factor. I like some of the things that I am seeing here. We have a two and a half hour lithium ion battery and an internal charger. So they've made some major progress along the way with some of the things that they have learned. Not necessarily groundbreaking, not necessarily a problem, but they are definitely like, hey, we didn't have an internal charger last time. We've figured that out. We made it as an option. We're putting it inside of this one. I think that's fantastic news. CW decode and 32K transmit log. That's pretty cool. So it's going to record some of your transmitting. It's going to it's going to decode on screen some of the receiving for you. Scan and mini pan feature. That ought to be pretty neat. I'm assuming that's going to be a little bit like a a band scope, not necessarily a waterfall, but more like a band scope. That's a built in real time clock. So that way you'll be able to record the time that you've made the QSO. Full remote control is interesting. I'd like to see what people will come up with with that because that's that sounds like something that you could really hack on, really tinker with. That's pretty interesting. Built in speaker, that's absolutely necessary. RIT, ZIT, and VFO lock. Light gray case stays cool even in bright sunlight. Black cases are neat on radios, but black cases do kind of attract the heat. Let's take a look at some of the other features. We've just tackled some of the hardest problems with HF field deployment. How to get you on the air in seconds with an internal ATU that tunes both a built-in multi-band whip and BNC connected random wires, providing field logging that's truly convenient, creating the optimal user interface for handheld CW operations because there isn't always a place to sit. That is true. And making an HF rig that's light enough to use HT style without wrist fatigue. So some of the things that they're talking about in that paragraph is you have this log book and pen slot on the side that folds out. You're ready to roll there and you have the ability to do your CW keying with the built-in key, the built-in paddle at the bottom of the radio. And then of course the BNC jack at the top for the aforementioned random wires. The result of this effort is the KH1, an ultralight radio you'll never leave at home. It's ideal for soda, hiking, vacation, and business travel, or just that carefree hour after the chores are done. <laughs> chores. I remember chores went back when I had my farm. With the Edgewood package shown installed below, your KH1 becomes a fully integrated station with fold-out a log tray and pen, plug-in gear, paddle, battery charger, ATU, and whip antenna. It all fits into our versatile ES20 carrying case or in your back pocket. So I'm guessing the Edgewood package is this flip out case that they're talking about with your log paper in it. And then there is the ES20 right here, the carrying case that it is shown in. Imagine a complete five band station that disappears into a back pocket with integrated log tray, pen, antenna, ATU, gear, paddle, and large internal battery. Grab your KH1 and rediscover the urban wilderness boundary. Nice. So I like that the whip antenna can be disconnected and put away. That way you're not sitting in your back pocket and then sitting down on it and breaking it. That would be bad. Some of the more important stuff. It is one and a half high, two and a half wide, four and a half long, and I'm rounding those up to make it easier. And let's see, we already went over frequency ranges. Architecture is super het with variable bandwidth crystal filter, attenuators minus 12 dB switchable, CW, LSB, USB receive, and cross mode TX, S meter and AGC included. Power outputs five watts nominal on all bands at 11 volts DC. That's actually pretty good. SWR tolerance is infinite. Auto power rollback on excessive reflected power. Perfect. Side tones 500, 800 kilohertz, 500 Side tone is 500, 800 hertz, so you can select that to be what you like to listen to. I like 650 or 600 or so. Here is 8 to 50 words per minute, iambic A and B, paddle reverse, and hand key mode. 3.5 millimeter jack key can be used with KHBT1 or other paddles, and it has built-in messages, so you can have your CQ call and your response recorded. ATU works with both BNC and whip mount post, matches most antennas on multiple bands, 2.5 to 1. Slide switch selects 15, 17 meters, or 20 meter high Q induction for whip or center off settings for ATU use with BNC jack. It bypasses the whip entirely. One to four second matching time and it has per band memories. Full remote control and firmware upgrade via supplied USB-A cable. I still want to know what that's all about. I am looking forward to playing with that. KHATU1. If you have ever used an Elecraft tuner, these things tune fantastically. Basic KH1 includes the power cable, the radio, and the USB cable, and the manual. More information at Pacificon or on Elecraft's website when they do the official announcement in public. This is some leaked information that I was able to see with my own eyes and wanted to share with y'all as soon as I could get my fingers on it. And then here is a quick comparison between the KX1 and the KH1. If you are interested in seeing the differences between the two, pause your screen to read all this. I don't want to bore you by reading it to you. And then there is the bottom for the firmware features. If you like hearing about the latest in amateur radio news, be sure you are subscribed to the channel because I like bringing this stuff to you as soon as I can get my little hands on it. Fantastic stuff. There is a video right up here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.